Greetings everyone from the United States. I'm back in the motherland for a brief two week visit with family and friends. And while I'm here, I'm cranking out one little vlog to show you guys what I've been up to every day, which is mostly outdoorsy stuff. We are a very outdoorsy family. So walking, biking, canoeing, that's pretty much what we've been doing every single day. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hi, I'm Catherine from the US. I've been living in China for the past five years and I currently work at an environmental organization and run this YouTube channel on the side to share some interesting nuggets from my life in China. Today is just a fun little vlog to show you all around this place near my hometown and have a chat with my parents about their thoughts on my decision to move abroad and then I'll be back to my usual content next week. Is that a long train, maybe? Look how long the train is. Just like how China has a lot of cute little ancient towns that preserve old architecture and give you a place to just like walk around and hang out, the US has those too. So this is an example of that, although you can't really call it an ancient town. It's more like a Civil War era town, but it's ancient in US terms, I guess. It's a pretty cool place to walk around. We love looking at knickknacks. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Family <laughs> tradition. Not only do they have coal knickknacks, they have a Jesus made out of coal. Only here in Appalachia. My favorite shop out of all of them. That lumbering behemoth that just rolled by us is an endangered species, the American passenger train. We have a lot of trains for carrying cargo, but trains that carry people are few and far between, and I've actually never ridden an American train ever in my life. Americans just love two things, graffiti and stickers. And any place that is deemed to be public property but also unimportant insignificant spaces gets covered in stickers and graffiti every time i come here i see this wall and several of the other sticker sticking places and i'm like i have got to remember next time to bring a sticker to put on the wall and i forgot again so i hope i'll bring it next year that blurry outline on the cliff there is actually an ad from back in the day it is no longer legible but it's kind of cool that you can still see the outline. And now it's time for my parents to answer the burning question referenced in the title of this video. They aren't particularly experienced with being on camera, but they are doing their best, so please be nice. Are you ready? No. It's been very difficult. Let me ask the question. I don't think I asked the question yet. <laughs> he has to. <laughs> What is it like having a child living in another country all the way on the other side of the world? Please give your perspective. It's hard sometimes and sometimes it's easier. Okay, that's a little vague. <laughs> it's a little vague. I love Catherine living in China because I feel like it's safer. She now lives in a village, but I felt very comfortable in, in all the cities that she visited. And so walk up to that tree and wait. What on earth are you gonna be saying? All right. No, but he, he makes me feel uncomfortable. 
He's making... <laughs> He's making faces and you're gonna do it! <laughs> Catherine's been in China five years and she keeps very in very good touch with us, which is wonderful. Catherine loves visiting with people and I feel very comfortable with her going into their homes and having dinner or tea. They love showing her around. She has a real appreciation for culture from my father. I've gotten used to, <laughs> I've gotten used to Catherine being away. I always miss her, but I feel like she has a good head on her shoulder. I'd love to see the videos that Catherine puts out of everything she's doing. Sometimes I'll demand them because she doesn't have enough time to do them. I prefer if Catherine stays in the United States. Catherine's very happy in China. So I try not to worry too much. So if I marry a Chinese guy and have babies there, are you going to come over and see your grandkids? When they are older, I will come. I'll look at them on Zoom. Two weeks is good for us to visit. And then we're ready to come home. <laughs> Just two weeks? Come on. Maybe three. <laughs> I realize China has difficulties just like the United States has. So I try to take comfort that Catherine is so happy in China that I don't do not demand for her to come back. Because if somebody's not happy in a place, they will not function well. I worry about the cities in the United States a little bit more than China. Not the suburbs, the, some of the cities. So I have some comfort because I she when she travels alone at night. I feel like biking. I feel good with her being a solo biker and that she's safe as she travels. All right, Father, it's your turn. Well, if it was my choice, of course, like any parent, I'd want her living here. But she's happy there, so I'm happy. She, she enjoys her job and loves where she lives and what she does, so I can support her in that. But yeah, if I had my choice, I'd like her right here. Right here, in the basement, <laughs> living not, off you guys. Maybe down the street. <laughs> Thank you for participating. So when are you coming to China, Father? The people are waiting. When I, whenever I can get a direct flight. A direct flight, all right. All right, I'll hold you to that. You know, if I can find one, we can work that out. All right, everyone, that's all the answers I could milk out of them. Let's give them a break from the camera. And also, if you feel so inclined, drop them a thank you in the comment section because they're a bit camera shy, but we're still willing to do it in the end for the fans. Double decker train. <laughs> Check where your shirt was made. Where was your hat made? Where was your backpack made? Where was your watch made? Where were your pants made? And in summary, of course, no parent wants their child to be far away, but at the same time, every parent wants for their child to be happy and live the most fulfilling life that they can. And I hope there'll be a direct flight from DC to mainland China available sometime soon. Hope you guys enjoy this tiny window into my life in the US. And in the next video, I will see you guys in the mountains north of Hondo. Just jump. Just do it. How's the water? That is crisp cold. <laughs> Holy shit. Really? Are you sure we can go under this? You want some of this?
This is the senior bunny. <laughs> Your cat has the hiccups. I've never seen that before.